Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be installing aftermarket tail lights on my 2021 Tesla Model 3 and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you basically everything the process of how to remove the stock ones and I'll show you the before and after and basically show you everything I did get them for 400 bucks from eBay and they are the sequential kind so let's go ahead and remove the stock ones and install the aftermarket ones here are the stock ones and I personally think that the stock ones look very good they do have that nice blacked out look but I decided to go with something different so let's go ahead and install those aftermarket ones and see how they look like on this Tesla Model 3 So the first thing we need to do is to remove a plastic piece that is up here. So this plastic piece right here, this is going to come off and there's going to be a clip right here. This needs to be out to be able to get that plastic piece out. And on the other side, it's the same exact thing. So we're gonna go ahead and remove those two clips and then we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that plastic piece and then we'll be able to put the carpet down and it'll be a little bit easier and then we could remove uh, this seal to make it even easier. So let's go ahead and do all that and then I'll get back to you guys and uh, show you what to do next. So the carpet is loose now. You guys don't have to remove the seal. There are going to be two bolts. The first bolt is going to be this one right here. And the second one is going to be right on top of it. So this one right here and this one right here. If you remove those two, the tail light will come out and you have to unplug those plugs or cables. For those two bolts, they're going to be eight millimeter. So let's go ahead and remove them. is just go ahead and get a screwdriver push this red pin out and it should come out just like that so for the next step this is actually very tough to remove so I would suggest using a tool like this and then go ahead and undo it I did actually undo it because it was very hard it does need some force and all you have to do is just go ahead and remove this to be able to get the tail light out So right now we're gonna go ahead and remove the tail lights. All we have to do is just go ahead and pull on it and it should come out. So here are the tail lights and I'm gonna go ahead and unpack them from the plastic wraps. And by the way, the packaging was really good from the seller, so I'm really happy. Um, actually, this one is unpackaged, so let me go ahead and show you this. That's how it looks like. So I just put back the tail lights, plugged the cable into the aftermarket tail lights. I'm gonna go ahead and install back the bolts, those two, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back and uh, do the other ones. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this back. For the trunk, that tail light right there, I have to remove the plastic in the middle to be able to get that tail light out. I haven't seen any videos on YouTube on how to do this, so I'm gonna try and figure out everything by myself. So this is old clips. So I did use a uh, uh, plastic uh, tool uh, to be able to remove it. I didn't want to uh, use a screwdriver. I didn't want any scratches on the paint. There are going to be some clips right here. So this is very easy. Just go ahead and push 
part down on this and it should come out. right here and we're gonna go ahead and remove it we're gonna go ahead and figure out how to remove this because there is no pins right here so let me go ahead and find out how to remove this I think there is something that's stopping it from getting out so I'm gonna use uh, a small pen and then I'll go ahead and remove this uh, cable right here So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the inner tail lights now. And uh, to be able to remove the cable, you have to use a screwdriver to push out on the red piece. Then go ahead and remove uh, the, the connector. And they're going to be an eight millimeter inside. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove it. I think that's the only thing that is there. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this and uh, we'll see if the tail light comes out. So let's go ahead and see if we can remove it. Yep, so only one screw, and that's the tail light. That's it, super easy to remove. I did put the inner tail light in, and there is a little bit more gap right here than the stock ones, but it is uh, sitting nice and flush. So I plugged the cable in, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the eight millimeter right there and uh, that should be it. And we're gonna go ahead and do the same exact uh, thing for the other tail light, for the other side, and we'll see how uh, everything looks like at the end. All right, so I actually completely forgot to connect uh, this cable that came uh, with the package. So basically a cable that connects from one tail light to the other, each side has one. So it connects from this tail light and this is the other end right here and then it goes into this right here but the hardest part is I did actually test everything and everything turns on the hardest part is actually routing this cable right here so I'm actually thinking to use some 3M tape and bringing it down all the way down next to the strut and then I did actually open this grommet and I'm gonna go ahead and feed this right here inside. It goes in like that and it should come out from the other side. But let me go ahead and take it out and basically see if I could show it to you over the camera because honestly it's really hard doing this with one hand. So here we go. Comes out and then this white connector is going to go to that white connector right here but as I said guys the hardest part is basically making this cable stick to the trunk so I'm gonna probably use some double-sided tape or some tape uh, for now then I'm gonna go ahead and find the solution and as I said I did actually test everything everything works I still haven't done the other side but the other side is the same as the left side of course but let's go ahead and uh, see what I can do and I'll go ahead and show you what I exactly uh, will be doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a zip tie and uh, basically I'm gonna go ahead and route it from here and then I'm gonna basically grab that cable and it's gonna look like this. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and put the plastic cover up top so up top they're going to be the plastic cover so everything will be uh, hidden um, and it stops right here that the plastic cover that i took off and uh, i'm gonna do another zip tie on the strut uh, like in the bottom just to hold it in place and i think uh, that's the solution for this i really don't have any other solution if you guys have a way on how to hide the cable better uh, let me know i'm still not done so once i put the cover back on I'm gonna go ahead and see how everything looks like, but 
the cable is gonna the wire is gonna be exposed like this uh, it is what it is uh, as long as the tail lights are working but let's go ahead and finish everything and uh, show you the end result Alright, so I just finished zip tying everything. Make sure you guys route the wires or the two wires uh, in a good uh, way because trust me, you don't want those wires to catch on these and uh, basically uh, break them or uh, something happen to them. So make sure everything is good. I did put a zip tie right here, another one right here, and this is the first installation video of the aftermarket taillights on the Tesla Model 3 so I haven't seen any video so I'm just basically uh, creating my own way uh, on routing this cable so I did uh, route the cable right here make sure you guys everything is inside make sure nothing is like the cable shouldn't be right here so make sure they're inside and then I did route it right underneath or uh, right underneath that strut and then I kept going down and it went inside the grommet or inside that hole and basically all I'm gonna do right now is cut the extra zip ties and that's it but let me go ahead and show you how it looks like when it's closing no cables are catching so everything looks good So I just cut all the extra zip ties and looks nice and clean and it is definitely taking way longer than expected and I am filming so that uh, that's why probably it's taking more than I expected but I think the installation is very easy but it is time consuming for sure and me filming it adds even more time but let's go ahead and do the other side I did actually say that million times but let's go ahead and do the other side now and uh, basically show you the end result. So for the right side to route that wire we're gonna go ahead and remove this grommet right here on the right and we're gonna go ahead and feed this cable inside and let me go ahead and show you this hole right here this is my finger right there and it's going to come and get out of this uh, hole right here so let me go ahead and do that. So I just uh, took the cable from that hole, as I told you guys. Very easy to do. Um, just go ahead and put your fingers inside that hole right there and uh, try to look for the cable and uh, get it out with your fingers. And that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull. And all I have to do now is just, I'm gonna go ahead and zip tie it to the right strut. All right, so I did put the plastic cover on. There is no need to show it since it's very easy to put on. Pull clips and uh, cable comes down. I think it's a really nice install, nice and clean. But this probably I'll get something later. Well, I'm not exactly sure or I might just leave it like that. Very nice clean install. Now I have to actually go ahead and put the carpet right behind the seal so that's the only thing I have to do and this side is very very clean and the cable goes in there so I think I prefer the right side better and the cable doesn't really touch the hinges when it's closing all right guys, so I just finished installing the tail lights and they are very easy to install, but they are definitely time consuming. And seriously, the way how this Tesla Model 3 looks like now is much better than before. I really like the design of the tail lights and they do blend in very good with the side uh, pieces right here. So those are the original, those are stock. Those are of course the aftermarket and seriously, they look very good. And by the way, they're not flashing in real life. This is just my camera. And I really, really like those tail lights. Everything is LED in those tail lights. So this is the second day and I did find out few things about those tail lights that I really don't like. 
first thing is going to be the reverse light the reverse light only is on the right side so there is no reverse light on the left so I'm not exactly sure why they do it that way but I did get in touch with the seller and the seller told me that's how the supplier does it they only do the right side which I think is pretty stupid uh, to do something like that second thing is when you hit the brake the turn signal indicators do turn on and uh, there is an actual brake light in those tail lights so I'm not exactly sure why the turn signal indicators turn on when you hit the brake uh, I think that's stupid as well uh, but I know those tail lights uh, can be programmed and you could actually even turn off the animation if you want to basically that dance when, whenever you turn on the uh, tail lights so uh, I'm not exactly sure why uh, that happens but uh, it is what it is uh, so those are the only two things I really don't like about those tail lights. I think that can be fixed honestly. Uh, I did uh, uh, have a uh, car before it and I did have similar tail lights to this and uh, there is a way to kind of like program those tail lights. But I'm gonna find out more details uh, to see if I could uh, do something about the uh, turn signal indicators. The reverse lights, it's not a big deal. Yes, one of them is working. It's, it is what it is, but I really hate the turn signal indicators. Uh, that uh, the fact that they turn on whenever I had the brake because there is a brake light that turns on when, whenever I had the brake so I really there is no need for the turn signal indicators to turn on but uh, yeah overall I think the tail lights have a really nice look to them uh, and the design overall is nice I love the blacked out uh, look uh, they have and they do look I think very good but uh, yeah I'm gonna do more research and uh, see what I can find out and I'll definitely uh, keep you guys updated and I'll update the uh, description of the video uh, if anything changes or maybe I'll even make a uh, video about uh, those tail lights like an update video about those tail lights but I really hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video if you guys did please subscribe and as always I'll see you next time